A plan that values our young people and invests in their future. What exactly is the Michigan 2020 plan? Hello and thanks for joining us. I'm Laurel Hess and this is Comcast Newsmakers. We're here on location at the state capitol. Joining me now is Senator Hoon Young Hopgood, a Democrat from the 8th District. Thank you so much for joining us. It's great to be here. Thank you. So what exactly is the Michigan 2020 plan? So the Michigan 2020 plan is a plan that recognizes the high costs of, of college tuition and provides support to our young people who are trying to do what we're telling them to do. So there isn't a week that goes by where I'm not in front of students saying, go get an education. Because the state has not supported our colleges and universities in the way that I think that we should, tuition has increased. It's a simple equation. And many of our students are getting priced out of a good college or university education. It's something that really needs a, uh, some attention um, to be higher, uh, a higher priority for us at state government. And this is going back over years in terms of the state not providing uh, good support to our universities. So then exactly how would uh, this plan work? Each high school graduate would receive a certain amount of cash from the state? It, it would be a grant program where if you graduated in the state of Michigan, you could be a, a public school student, you could be a private school student, you could be homeschooled, and you would be eligible for a grant and the grant would be the equal to the median tuition at one of Michigan's universities. So if you take them all together, you look at the median, it's about $10,000. We would provide a grant to offset the costs of college education um, and it would be capped at that $10,000 level. Would that be a year or a one-time uh, uh, grant? It would be per year, absolutely. And uh, would there be any other types of uh, requirements, academic or need-based, uh, in order to receive this grant? It would be open to all students who were in good standing at the, at the university that accepted them. They would have to get into the university. They would have to have the grades and the test scores and, and things like that. So they'd have to earn their way in. But once they got in, what we're learning is that students in Michigan have an average of $27,000 in debt coming out of college. That's a major drag on our economy. And so what we're seeing is that students are struggling just to get through their college experience. Um, so if you take away all the kids that have scholarships and that you know, the parents are, are able to uh, fund their college tuition, then you think that the actually average of, of the kids who are having to take out that debt is much higher than 27000 So the big question is, of course, uh, where does all the money come from? How do we fund it? Well, we have a plan, and there's actually four bills in the package. We, we've just introduced them. Um, there's a website, actually, I want to tell you about it because it has the details on it. It's michigan2020.com. And so our plan puts together a, an independent panel of five economists who would look at all of the $35 billion in state tax credits and expenditures. So right now we have $35 billion of tax credits and expenditures that isn't reviewed every year just like the state budget is. So they avoid the scrutiny. If we found just 5% of uh, inefficient, unproductive tax credits, then we could fund this, this plan. We'd also, going forward, we would grade all of the different bills that propose a tax credit or a tax expenditure and really provide some oversight and some transparency for, our, uh, for the public. All right. Thank you so much for joining us today. Thank you. Today's Comcast Newsmaker was Senator Hoon Young Hopgood, a Democrat from the 8th District.